So you may have tested Grammarly for free, but now you might be curious what the premium features are. Then you're on the right video. I'm going to break down how to use the newly added AI features inside of Grammarly, the new strategic suggestion feature so your text is not missing key information, how to use the tone feature so you don't sound lazy or negative, the plagiarism checker so you don't get caught for plagiarism, and by the end of this video, I'll show you the app actions that is gonna save you a ton of time but not the way you think. Therefore, while we're going through this video, I want you to imagine using it in your use case and how it will help you to become a better writer. Look, I'm now on a completely clean document in Google Docs. And as you can see, I'm gonna show off the AI features of Grammarly. Just click on this light bulb and this window will appear. These are also available for free, up to 100 AI prompts. It prompts us generate ideas for blog posts, write a project process report, and more ideas that has all of these different categories. And obviously the first thing that happens in any start of a project, brainstorm some thought provoking questions. Now, I actually have a title that I want to brainstorm around, so I'm gonna click on that. Now it's prompting us, what topic do you have in mind? I'm gonna say how I've added AI tools to my workflow to 2X my productivity, click on Enter, you can see that it's working right in front of you inside of Google Docs, so you don't have to leave Google Docs to potentially go to some other platforms. And just like that, I'm reading these questions and my brain is thinking of all these different ideas that I can add to my video. So now I can just insert it, but I wanna show you more of the writing process. So let's click on more ideas. And since we already written something, you can see adjust tone that I'll get to you in a second, which is one of my favorite Grammarly premium features. But let's actually go to a new line here and then click rewrite with Grammarly, go to more ideas. And I'm gonna go to this write an engaging introductory email. Say I have AI automation clients like write an introductory email to my audience of content creators and business owners that want to apply AI tools into their workflow and enter. Just like that, it wrote an entire introductory email for me as someone who has personally experienced the benefit of AI in my work process. I understand the challenges and opportunities that come with integrating these tools into one's workflow. <laughs> Yes, please. I'll just click on insert. And just like that, we have an email that could be an introductory email with full transparency. I do not use AI to write my emails, but what I use it for is I write my own email first, then I ask AI what they are gonna write, and then I see if there's a mismatch between what I wrote and what they wrote, and I take key pieces of information that I see that I might be missing. And Grammarly actually has a better feature for that. But have you seen the power now of having Grammarly right here with all these AI prompts to help you get better ideas, write, and even ideas for school? Well, that's awesome. Let's go to the next one, which might be my favorite, the premium feature, Strategic Suggestions. They have a new feature here called Increased Impact of Your Text. I'm gonna click it, and now it's actually going to find some gaps in my text that may make it a lot more impactful. So here you can see the first sentence. It's actually adding a new sentence here. Like, I've been following your work and I'm truly impressed by your innovative approach. Where the goal is to express our admiration for our recipient's work. So we can accept that. And now you see we added this sentence here in the end. So the next one here is they've added a sentence in the middle of my paragraph because there was a gap there that I didn't clarify that they highly recommend that I add if I want to offer specific examples of the benefits that I've experienced from using AI tools. For instance, I've seen a, let's say 21% increase in the productivity and a 79% decrease in errors since incorporating AI into my content creation process. Some of these changes will make or break your emails, giving clear examples of how you're using them and proof to back that up is just a lot 
better writing. So let's accept that. I just want to accept the next one and go to the last one where we have a quite big mistake. I look forward to hearing from you and learning more about your specific needs and challenges. Thank you for your time and I hope to connect with you soon. It sounds good, but there is no call to action where Grammarly suggested a clear call to action where please feel free to reply to this email or schedule a call at your convenience. I believe most people are missing these things that Grammarly is just now helping you solve. There we go, you're on point. So now you've seen how you can actually write an email improve it with Grammarly and you agree that these improved impact suggestions are incredibly valuable, right? So now let's dig into the premium feature tone. Where you'll find this is to click on the rewrite with Grammarly option once more and then we'll click on set your voice. And now you can select a tone that you want to have like witty, empathetic and confident. And why this is so important is because you might come across as lazy, arrogant, or maybe too demanding, and you didn't even mean to do that. It just happened that the writer is perceiving it in a different way than you're writing. You can also write your profession, and I write in British English, I'm American English, and we can click on use this voice. Now, I wrote a quick sample email here just to show you the tone. As you can see, it's highlighting this because it says it was nice to catch up last Friday and learn that Acme Co is having issues with social media presence. What they are suggesting is that we say instead that Acme Co needs help. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Rephrase that. You can see the next prompt want to sound more confident. As you can see, what we said is, I'd like to offer a sneak peek at our upcoming tool, the Trend Predictor. And instead of saying I'd like, it wants us to say, I want to make it more confident. The last example here is allowing your team to potentially benefit from it in the near future. <laughs> you may already see where this goes. It crossed out a lot of it to say instead to benefit from it in the near future potentially. Accept that as well. As you can see, this premium feature really sets the tone of your email, especially if there are words that you don't know, may be arrogant, or will be perceived in a completely different way, this just fixes that right away. Next, I wanna show you the premium featured plagiarism checker. So as you can see in the bottom, we have a check for plagiarism tool. Now I use ChatGPT here to search 10 different websites and take information from all these different websites. Then I just copy pasted it into this Google doc. And let me show you exactly what happens if I click on the check for plagiarism button. As you can see, we're comparing from billions of different websites and it says no plagiarism detected. This is especially important if you're a student or if you're a reputable media company, plagiarism is just something I don't stand by. But what if we actually take an article and we just copy paste the majority of it? Let me go back to ChatGPT here and let's go to this website, for example. And now I'm gonna just copy this and I'm gonna paste it under here. Then I'm gonna go to another website, take the first two paragraphs here, copy and paste. And why not a third one from Stanford? You know, all of these points maybe and paste. Now, Let's go down and click on the check for plagiarism button again. And as you can see, this is the result. So it says that 14% of this text matches this technologyreview.com. And then they have a copy reference link. So you could post this in the bottom here for sources. If you are quoting something, obviously 14% of the document is a little too long. But if we click here as well, you can see that this here was stolen from this website here. This had 1% match. This one was a 2% match from the VentureBeat website that we copied from. And in the bottom, it says 20% of your document matches text in four sources on the web or in academic databases. They also have different modes to check plagiarism. For example, if I click here, you see MLA and Chicago as well are different citation styles that probably will give us a different result on the plagiarism detection. So this is a very important tool, especially if you're writing something for school so you don't get caught for plagiarism, right? So we've gone through most of the new AI features inside of Grammarly, but the last and final one is the premium feature app actions. 
What this does is that you can go, for example, in Slack and say you want to send a message to your team and you want to add a file like a link to the content calendar and a link to a new document. The old way of doing this would be to go to Google Chrome, go to Google Drive, then you would have to maybe go to your business account by clicking this folder and then searching for AI and the content calendar. Then you need to click on share, maybe even change the access like this. Look how many times I'm clicking, copy the link, go back to Slack again, and then you would paste it right here. As you can see, this is pretty tedious, especially if you have many different apps you're using. So the new way is just to highlight a word like this, go over to the Grammarly icon and click on this icon here. And when I click on more ideas, I can easily find our files in Google, search for AI and the content calendar, just like that, and boop, the file is directly inserted into the Slack message, just like this as well in a new document. I can even click on this button down here that opens this here, and then file my new file for the video script. This shaves off at least 30 seconds every time you have to go back and forth, switching from new tabs and multitasking maybe, losing focus, which is why this is such a quick value add for anybody working with a team. So you're now seeing how Grammarly Premium can improve your impact, change your tone to be more confident and positive, the AI tools you have and the app actions to save you time. Do you think this will help your writing and your productivity? If so, click the link in the description down below of this video, aim high with brilliant writing and upgrade to Grammarly Premium. If you've already been using Grammarly for a while and you've been using it for the past year, I'd highly recommend clicking on the annual plan because you save some money. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know Grammarly has saved me from countless writing mistakes through years of using it. So thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in next one.